welcome to another video in this video i will explain about command editings in in uh, model driven apps using power fx you see there are many command bars available in dynamics 365 or model driven apps right so this is your uh, home grid and in the home grid you will see let's say my requirement is whenever you open whenever user opens any account if the account has if a specific account has a relationship type value already in the field then i just want to hide this set edge cost competitor custom button this is a custom button i have placed here on the top and if it is filled let's say i want to fill it something else like consultant and save it if the relationship type has some value i don't want to display this uh, uh, set edge competitor button custom button you see it is hidden right also i'll show you some uh, more uh, power effects to manipulate this uh, command buttons in this tutorial right now let us go and uh, tell you about how i have done that command now this is the home grid uh, main form in the main form i have added a command here the command name i have given the label edge set edge competitor i have used an icon to display here and uh, you can choose any type of uh, icon as per your choice to display as the button and in the action i am writing some formula some power fx first i will show you about visibility by default you can uh, select as show as visible so that the button will visible the command button will visible every time without any condition but if you want to show and if you want to manipulate the visibility or you want to show for some condition and you want to hide for some other conditions you have to use so on condition from formula right when you choose this you can click on this open com formula bar it will open this formula bar for you this is the area where you write your power fx what i can write i can directly put here true right when you directly put true here that means this button is always visible but if you want to do some conditional visibility then you have to write down your power fx so what i have done here i have taken an if if block right if condition if self dot selected item this power fx refers to the current form that has been opened current item right so it is taking that if the current items relationship type is blank that means is blank power fx returns true right if it is blank if it is not blank this formula returns false so first condition is if let me remove the second uh, i'll tell you about it. this later on the first condition is if the relationship type field of the selected item is blank then true that means display if it is blank visible true if it is false else it is false right that means this condition will check if the relation type is blank if it is blank the button will be uh, displayed otherwise it will be false now let me save and publish so every time you write any uh, you know uh, show one condition from uh, formula visibility in uh, power fx in command button you have to save and publish the command first then you have to uh, publish the model driven app uh, where this command button has been integrated for example i am using sales hub so i have to publish the sales hub model driven app also once this is published so you have to remember these two things otherwise sometimes uh, it will not work so once you have to publish this uh, command button settings or power fx so you see here the visible the visible property i have set here i have not gone to set action now i want to go here this is the modern uh, modern way of uh, designing model driven apps i can publish this you can switch to classic also if you want to design your power apps your model driven apps in classic designer but this is this is the best one a modern one so you can use it now once you publish this you can go to your account or you can open the uh, you can just click on this play app this if you click on play it will open the model driven app in another window so i want to test now right what i want to test 
and to test if the button set as computer is displaying or not if relationship type is blank right so go here and go to accounts and here let me open any account and check let me open this account fabricum incorporation so in this fabricum incorporation this is the account in this account i will check what is the relationship type you see here the relationship type is blank isn't it the relationship type is blank so what is my intention if the, the, the relationship type is blank i want to display the command button and at the top you see the command button is displayed right so what so let me open any other account which has some value in it let me open uh, this one which has some value adventure works yes here it is consultant relationship type do you find the button here no it is hidden why because i have the condition here if it is blank display if it is not blank false right now let me open um, any account and update that so what is what i have done in the set account let me tell you that also so this is the account and the button will display here right so whenever i click on set as competitor what it will do it will ask me a confirmation box so on the action command of this button i have written some power effects to display this confirmation box you know that in command editing in command buttons you can write power effects called as confirm and you can display some messages and title of the confirmation message and user can click ok and cancel and you can handle when the user clicks ok what you want to do so you can write in the power effects so what i have done when you click the set as competitor this confirmation box will open and if you click ok it will assign competitor value to the relationship type value see here previously it was blank but now when i have clicked ok uh, the value given to the relations type is competitor and the button is hidden see here so the visibility also works fine and also the relation relationship type set as competitor how it is done let us go and check the action command i have here in the action command click on open formula here i have written some formula i am doing something here if first i am confirming some message by uh, by writing confirm power effects confirm power effects display a message with a title and user can click ok or cancel now you see this message is displaying right when you click uh, the button are you sure title is confirmation for update if this confirm box returns true what you want to do i want to patch what i want to patch patch is used patch patch power fx is used to update some fields on the current uh, current record right so also you can update any other uh, entity to record if you have that reference record reference right so what i want to do i want to update the same record so i am using patch which data source account data source which record self record self selected record what is the uh, record you are selecting for that form only i want to update what i want to update relationship type which is a choice field relationship type equal, uh, colon relationship type dot competitor right so if you want to uh, update any other value also if you click on dot it will give the choice fields right but i want to update competitor now if it is okay if the uh, confirmation box clicked okay then we are patching a a uh, otherwise we are notifying sorry in the so if now it is showing otherwise uh, if it is uh, if it is true then we are updating the message and i want to display notification so what i can do i can go here and use a semicolon to display another to um, perform another action another function you see here so it will update and after semicolon it will display a notification called as account updated as competitor right now you have to save the public save and publish so once you save and publish 
you have to uh, save the save and publish uh, you have to publish the model driven apps also then you have to test right so you have to understand in this command screen in this command uh, button uh, formula bar what functions are available as i have used confirm if condition then page function notify function right so you have to use that so i will show you some more examples also today so don't worry so let me publish this so that i can test the action now i can go here and try to refresh i can open any uh, any other account where there is blank value in the relationship type Now this is inactive so i'll go to another account let me go to this account now let's try to press ctrl f5 which will hard refresh the browser window so that it will take the fresh data from the server now see in this contact the relationship type is blank and the data is showing here tab, uh, the command button now i can click this now the alert will display if i'll click ok the value will be given to the relationship type right and the button is hidden the point here i want to make here uh, make here is you understand how to manipulate the button command button action and visibility according to your need right according to the uh, value condition value field value condition now you can also add some more uh, conditions here let's say uh, whenever you click new let's say i will go to account and click on new so whenever you click new this command button is displaying right and i don't want to display on um, create form i just want to display only on the editing form right when the form mode is edit so in javascript what do we do we write form a uh, get form state right form type but here you can use form mode right let's say uh, if relationship type is blank then visible end what I want to do and if self dot selected self dot selected uh, sorry guys the bracket uh, mismatched uh, if it is blank and self dot selected dot state the self dot selected dot state gives the for mode right if the state is for mode dot edit if you use for mode you can use whether new mode or view mode or edit mode i want only edit mode because i want to display this button command button whenever the relations type is blank and the form state is edit so it should not display this button should not display in the new mode new form or in the inactive form or view mode it should only display on the edit form now let us check that click on save and publish now once you publish this we have to publish the model driven apps also and you can play around also there is uh, many methods available if you want to check the security permission of a user if he has if the current login user has the access to update or not you can also do that right let me check that first then i will let you know other things now once you publish let us go and test this so i'll go here and try to go to account and press ctrl f5 so first i will check by creating new account when you create a new account you we are expecting that the button will not display isn't it because we have written here it will only display when the form mode is edit so let me create a new one when you create new one we are expecting the button should not display the button still displays press ctrl f5 because this is because of the uh, cookie issues So on the new form the button should be hidden now see it is hidden now if i'll go to an inactive payment inactive account 
I'll go to inactive. Inactive is the view state only, right? Form state is view. So let me open this. This is inactive. Now here also I don't want to see. You see, the button is not available. Only whenever you open an existing record in edit mode. So this is the existing record. Let me open this. Now this is in edit mode. Now this will display. So there are two conditions running behind in the visibility condition. One is relationship type field value. Another is form state. If you want to add another condition, also it will work. For example, you want to check whether the current user has uh, uh, update permission on this uh, account record or not, right? So there is another uh, power FX you can use. Let's say called as data source info. There is a power FX called as data source info record info that you can use for permission check. Let's say I want to add and data source info. and in the account first parameter is the data source which data source and what permission if data source permission uh, edit permission right you can use all of these operations any of this operation as per your need so what it will do if you use data source info uh, and pass the data source and the permission that means it will check whether the current login user has edit permission on account entity or not okay if it is if it is uh, if there is edit permission it will return true otherwise it will return false right so this way you can add your uh, multiple conditions as per your need and define the form visibility condition and also in the um, at the same time if you want to do all these operations in set action uh, or whenever you click the button you want to do something then also you can manipulate here in the action formula bar so i hope you understand uh, the different types of uh, uh, command button editing using power fx right so most of the things in javascript can be done in uh, command uh, scripts also powers power fx right so I always recommend use this modern uh, way of command bar editing because it is faster than that uh, classic mode. Okay, you can also use uh, record info, right? You can try and record info. This is another uh, power effects to use. You can directly use record info record info dot edit permission read permission right if you want to check whether the current user has edit permission or not you can directly use this right so it will return it will return true or false so either you can use this data source information globally or you can use the record information so it depends on you that how you conditionally uh, define your power effects here to uh, set the visibility of the command buttons and also if you go here in the action panel you can use whatever you need you can use confirm box notifications patch every power effects you can use here right most of the power effects i hope you understand how you can manipulate this uh, uh, visibility uh, formula in power effects for command buttons and also the actions in power effects so please practice on your own if you have any confusion you can comment me here in the youtube Thank you guys. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe this channel. Um, see you guys. Bye.